Have you ever seen a cool rock, picked it up, and wondered, what is it? We are going to learn how to tell if it's a rock or a mineral and hear about the stories they can tell us. First, let's start at the beginning. Rocks are made of different types of minerals or broken pieces of crystals or broken pieces of rocks. Minerals are naturally occurring elements that normally form crystals. I remember it like this. If a chocolate chip cookie was a rock, then the flour, sugar, butter, and chocolate chips are the minerals that make up that rock. When you pick up a rock, it likely hasn't always looked like that. Rocks are categorized as sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous. Sedimentary rocks began as sediment, such as tiny pieces eroded from another rock, sand, and even clay. With a lot of compression, the sediment is compacted into the sedimentary rock. Igneous rocks are formed when liquid magma or lava cools and hardens. A metamorphic rock started as a sedimentary or igneous rock, even a different type of metamorphic rock. With intense heat or pressure, the metamorphic rock will change into a sedimentary rock or igneous rock. This process doesn't happen overnight, but can take years to even millions of years. But how do you tell what type of rock is what? Sometimes they all look alike. Let's check in with Peggy, our curator of geology, to find out how. We identify rocks by really looking to see what they're made of. So for example, we talked about sedimentary rocks. This is a sedimentary rock called a sandstone. And if we look really closely at the sandstone, we can see that all of these dots are actually sand grains. So we can imagine the environment in which it formed, perhaps a beach, perhaps you know a little shoal on the side of a river. And so that helps us understand where things are formed. This is um, a metamorphic rock called gneiss. This metamorphic rock, we can tell it is by the layers, and this formed from heat and pressure being applied from the top and bottom, in this case, and these different layers formed perpendicularly to that. This is a granite. This is igneous rock that formed deep underground from a magma, so from a liquid, and crystals formed from that magma as it cooled. This is a shale, and you can actually see the layers on the side of this. The shale formed from essentially like little tiny pieces of clay and mud. And so you can imagine places where you've seen clay and mud, perhaps a puddle that formed after the rain, perhaps the edge of a lake. And so you can imagine a shale like this forming a long, long time ago. Our native rocks are mostly sedimentary rocks. They were formed here hundreds of millions of years ago when we were covered by oceans. And those oceans helped deposit those sedimentary rocks. We have this great piece of limestone that if you look really closely, is actually a piece of coral. So a lot of our sedimentary rocks are in fact full of fossils, which is kind of exciting. Now we also do find igneous and metamorphic rocks. So here's a um, metamorphic rock. Looks like it's a nice but it's kind of rounded, and it's rounded because it traveled here underneath a glacier. Glaciers are big sheets of ice that moved from northern Canada down all the way to Indiana, and on the way, they brought big rocks with them, and they tumbled those rocks until they got all rounded. This is called a core sample, and it was retrieved from 4,000 feet below the Indiana surface. And it's a tube shape because geologists actually had to mine down to get this rock. And so it looks very smooth on the side, but if we look on the top, we can see some really neat details. This rock is called a pegmatite, and this is the only way we can get an igneous rock that's here from Indiana is by digging down so deeply. This rock has really, really large crystals 
which means that it formed over a very long period of time. That rocks! I hope this information helps you figure out your rock story. What rock or mineral will you discover next?